Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for this basic Sorgonomics doing that late night post podcast day, as you can hear in my voice. Uh, basic Sorgonomics. We actually had a question of sorts. Um, I actually have been getting off with my uh, good buddy. Uh, of the Indie Mayhem show, uh, Eamon, uh, the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling down there in Austin, Texas. Uh, so I, wanted, I was like, hey, what, what, what do you want? What, what do you want me to talk about? What are some issues you've been having? You know, what's the deal? What, what can I maybe help you with? And his thought was, uh, he, of course, does a social media for Inspire Pro Wrestling down there. Some great stuff, great photography. Uh, look for Inspire Pro Wrestling on your Instagrams, Inspire Pro Wrestling on the Twitter. Uh, really good stuff if you're a little bit into you know indie wrestling and any st- anything like that uh they got a great great thing a young company really move so viral this is interesting because i mean we're, we're really kind of moved by kind of that kind of stuff right uh you know we think of viral videos you know somebody who's who's a alumni of uh, pod camp pittsburgh who's having his 10th iteration this weekend i'll be there talking a little bit of get that plug in uh you look at something like i justine she had her iPhone bill uh, some eight years ago, right? Where she's like, oh, here's all my text messages because nobody's ever done this much texting before because we've all had flip phones, right? And this is what this means. And that did crazy. And nothing's really met that too much since. And and, and she says, well, I got a community and every, everybody comes back. Okay, she got a little bit of a boost. You know, she got exposed to a lot of people, but she worked off of that afterwards. But you're Inspire Pro Wrestling, and and, and you say, well, I want to get a viral video. And I can't say that we've done anything super, super viral. We've done videos around here that have done well, getting a few thousand hits, anything. I think we've topped out around 10,000 hits for some of our uh, earlier videos we did. But, you know, again, I want to stress, yeah, you want that viral video, but don't depend on that viral video. What do I mean by that? There's no science to it. Um, you can you can push some buttons and and do your viral videos by by making sure it's something topical. Maybe you put puppies in it. Maybe you make sure you hashtag to it. Uh, all you can really do is make your content, make your good content, right? Um, if you look at the viral videos, see what goes right. Uh, a, a music video like what the fox says with a weird quirk to it, but it's also catchy. That went viral. Gundam style went viral. You can you can say, um, geez, what other th- weird weird little things, right? Uh, the drunk kitchen videos got 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 viral because everybody wanted to look at this thing. Is your thing different? I think if you're say we're looking at an indie wrestling company. Is there something happening with that that's different? Uh, some things, uh, you know, kind of in recent months, uh, where was a video with uh, Tommy Dreamer of ECW fame, and they had a fan uh, come from the ring, and, and I, think, I think the fan was, you know, uh, maybe men- mentally deficient or, or whatever the case may be, uh, but they brought him in, and there's this guy doing DX chops with the wrestlers and everything as a post-match kind of thing, and uh, I believe this was the one that got, got on TMZ, got the attention, got thousands of hits, gave a little bit of exposure to the promotion, but it wasn't just, hey, here's a move and a wrestling move, and this happened happened what's something weird what's something kooky that happened on the show did a fan get involved in a weird way right and 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 that's something that that blows up you know the weird thing that happened recently uh again staying on the wrestling side was a fan threw a a money in the bank briefcase into the ring at a wwe live show and it randomly hit roman reigns in the head kind of become the talk of the town right that picture maybe that video i don't know i don't know if there's a video attached to it uh in articles i saw I, i i didn't see one but what is something different? What's going to catch people's attention? Maybe something doesn't catch people's attention like 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 you thought. Okay, you have something. Let's say, you know, you have seen something, okay, like the Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> it, this is really easy because you have somebody like Tommy Dreamer that does have a fan base, was on WWE, was in ECW. So if something weird happens with him, it's going to catch people's attention. When he pins Justin Labar of Chair Shot Reality that's been on you know uh, countless media outlets uh, in Pittsburgh and beyond in the wrestling community, uh, he gets pinned with a and hit with a with a fake leg of fan hands Tommy Dreamer. That's going to get a lot of attention. 
But also, let's say you have something that's not attached to a few names like that. Let's say you do have something just kind of kooky that happened. Maybe it'll resonate with people. Maybe it won't. But you also need to increase the possibility of people finding that, whether it be making sure you tag it, make sure you tag the people involved. Um, where do you share that? Um, <sighs> Is that something you can share on a Reddit? Which is hard because for me, I'm not somebody involved with Reddit. I don't even know where to begin with something like that. All I know to do is to put it on my YouTube, put it on my Facebook, put it on my Twitter, tag the people that I think was like, hey, go check this out. Or maybe you got, um, or maybe you got, as I'm getting messages here and it's getting loud, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you got like Mike is is telling me he just got on our Twitter on Tough Talk and the WWE Network tonight. What are chances for exposure? Another side of this, um, there's a show that I, I think I've in an unintentionally made this a little bit pattern after it's the idea at least. Uh, Ask Gary V with Gary Vaynerchuk. I've dropped his name several times. Um, but somebody who wants to get attention will ask a question on there and slyly kind of tag their website or Twitter or whatever the case for whatever they're trying to sell and getting it on a show like that with lots of exposure. You know what I've always liked for getting exposure for the wrestling promotions that I work with? Botchamania. How many people watch Botchamania? And yeah, there's a G-Raver slipping on fake blood uh, from the guy that came out right before him. Yeah, there's a, a ring collapsing at Prime Wrestling in Cleveland, Ohio. And I was ringside for that and got scared shitless uh, in, that, in that case with Rhino involved. Kind of ironic. Rhino comes up a lot in my life in the wrestling career. Uh, but, uh, but that got on Botchamania, which for those that don't know, this guy goes and he finds just mess ups and weird stuff in wrestling and he, he edits like a 10 minute video out of it. It's tremendous. Low rent, tremendous. And he has everything from WWE, WWF, w, old WCW to indie wrestling where a lot of bad stuff happens. So get a clip on there. Well, that was weird. <laughs> that ring, the ring rope broke. Oh, well, sent to Botchamania. Now, if nothing else, you have a video on there and also kind of put it by itself as well. And you have your little RWA logo, IWC logo, Prime Wrestling logo is on that. It's an introduction. What is another chance for eyeballs to find your product? One thing I should be doing with this is maybe getting on Gary Vaynerchuk's show. Have a question. I have a question that's been sitting in my notepad for a while, and I just haven't got the time, nuts, whatever, to to get it and get it in. I'm not pressing the issue. I have other ventures I'm, I'm, I'm pushing. But to get my ideas in front of somebody like that and in front of his audience... One thing I'm noticing with one of my clients, are we're getting great, 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 great traction because one of the people that we work with is a drummer with a following. And every time I do something with her on that platform, I watch our reach and our views skyrocket. So who is that person? On your roster, maybe? On your team? In your association? Is there somebody that uh, makes sense for you, right? Uh, there's a, if you're on Twitter, here's a little tip. Um, if you're on Twitter, log into your Twitter account at twitter.com. Go to analytics.twitter.com. And let me make sure I got the, uh, I don't even know what account I'm logged into at this point. But you'll go on there. And if you go on home and you can go in, there's a bunch of stats. Maybe you've never even seen these stats. Maybe you'll be amazed to see the impressions your tweets get. Right, I'm up 172% on indie wrestling. US that we launched over the last 24 hours, for instance, etc., uh, etc. Et but I can go in here and say, okay, who is our top follower? And maybe your top follower has a few thousand. Maybe your top follower has many thousand followers. One thing you can do is start targeting that top follower. Or maybe that top follower plus the top follower of last month. I know it's a perfect example. Guy that's on a lot of our shows, a lot of our DVDs. And I noticed the difference when we include him. Dylan Bostic has 187,000 followers. I'm sorry, 196,000 people. I think it's been a month since I checked that number. Ridiculous. There's a Justin Bieber 
thing going on there we can discuss at a different show and we have on the indie wrestling or indie mayhem show uh he's a guy that i include if i have a video that we're selling or a show coming up he gets tagged and he's smart he will retweet that thing he has holy crap an audience <laughs> and use that he will use that to his advantage, and he's attached to the thing we're doing, so he's used that to our advantage as well. You don't have that person directly involved in whatever it is you're doing. What do I have here? Uh, I have a CrossFit message board person. All right, let's see what you're about. Uh, she has a whole eh, 8,000 followers, uh, definitely very significant. And she's you, you look through that, and hopefully it's a real person. I hope you pray it's a real person and not a fake account, not something that's just promoting and, and not interacting with people. Go to tweets and reply. See if that's somebody that is actually conversing with somebody. And she isn't. She isn't adding anybody. Looks like this is might be actually might be a spam account. It's actually most likely a spam account. But if it's not, if it's a Dylan Bostic and you see him interacting with the fans and you see him getting into things, start interacting with that person. Start communicating with them hopefully they they reciprocate and if they reciprocate now you've been exposed to those people's fans it's about being social sometimes you got to social up a little bit but it's about being social period and you never know you never know i think the vaynerchuk thing is go find the people they're the top of your industry maybe if again we're going to wrestling companies go hit up I'm in the process of this now. I'm kind of building up to it. Go find the, all the people that are the top resources for pro wrestling. Hopefully they're a top resource and they're also interested in indie wrestling because that's what you're involved in most likely at this point. Go see if, would you like to review my thing? Which is content for them. That's how I'm doing the play right now. Would you like to watch our show for free? I'll send you a download link. You'll get it right away. I'd love for you to review it. Please be honest. That's okay. Because you don't want a weird thing because it doesn't even matter at that point. Please go check out our thing. Here's some content for you. You get to see the show, especially if you're some blogger or something that has some kind of following. Uh, bloggers like free stuff. And in the meantime, you have another place where International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, whatever your case may be, Inspire Pro Wrestling, just popped up at. It's going to help everybody in the long run. It's another place that people can find you. I kind of swayed a little bit from the viral side, but I think um, I think the work is important. Just find, just having opportunities, and if you make that thing along the way that resonates, and the right people see it and share it in the right places, then you've gone viral. Let me know what you think. Is there a form of the viral that I'm not missing or that I'm missing out on? Is there is there something I'm you know, you're not doing? Um, if you're on YouTube, follow the YouTube Academy. I think they're the experts in that because they're all people that have had videos that have gone viral and know how to get a community going. But I think the community is bigger than that big hit because if you have that big hit and you're not prepared for all those people, as I look at that, I look at that video of Tommy Dreamer in the fake leg. I'm like, wow, look at this thing. Da, 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 da. What's the next thing for the person? You're not going to get 4 million people look at that. Let's stay. Not all 4 million people are all of a sudden coming to your website and coming to your shows. A small percentage will follow through on that and say, well, who are these people? I wonder what's, what's up with this. Do you have something in place? Adequate. For that next step is it easy for them to go to the rest of your youtube channel and figure out what you're about is it easy for them to find that place for them to buy your dvd or find out a few about future shows or see past shows or find out other stuff about you there's the viral video of the kid uh was it something somebody goes to the den denny goes to the dentist or something like that the father was smart enough and monetized and made t-shirts and all this other stuff. You know. What are you going to do with it? What would you do if you woke up and your YouTube video had 4 million followers tomorrow? Do you have a plan for that? And I think that's going to be more important. 
or a large importance rather than that one video getting all that that's my thoughts that's my late night ramblings let me know your thoughts basic basic sorconomics basic sickness does our theme music on the wrestling shows basic sickness.com free plug uh, uh sorgatron at uh twitter and sorgatron.com for the show i'd like to hear from you i'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.